This is me, Trey Ecker, barreling down the runway in a situation I never thought I'd find myself in. I'm not a big fan of flying, and I can generally be found clutching the seat on takeoffs. But when the opportunity to fly in a World War II plane presented itself, I simply couldn't say no. About a month ago, I started working on this story. And while interviewing some senior members of the North American Trainer Association, I got invited to come out and see the clinic firsthand. And even go up into the back seat of a North American T-6, a plane that was primarily used as a pilot trainer during World War II. After briefly getting lost at the airport, I managed to find my way to the Mustang hangar, where the Gainesville Formation Clinic was taking place. And after signing my life away, I quickly got in touch with Al Harum, the person whose back seat I would be sitting in. Harum then got a hold of Will Loving and Carlos Sotolongo, who would be in the T6 behind Harum and myself. During the briefing, I found out that this formation flight was Sotolongo's first formation at a clinic, a fact that made me a little nervous. However, I kept my composure, and soon after, we were being carted out to the section of the airport where the planes were parked. After a brief explanation of how to get into the plane and strap into the parachute and harness, I hopped in the back seat of Harem's plane, and after about 10 minutes of waiting, we were speeding down the runway on one of the smoothest takeoffs I've ever experienced. Cutting through the air with another plane feet apart is an experience I can't quite put into words. The entire flight, I couldn't help but smile and be awestruck as to the maneuvering capability of these planes, despite their age. While the flight may have only been about 45 minutes, it was an experience that I will never forget. This has been Trey Ecker with WUFT News.